You wanna make something fun with essential oils? Hi, Katie from Simply Earth, and I love teaching people how to use essential oils, and today we are making retro-inspired soaps called Good Vibes. We're going to be using Simply Earth's glycerin soap base and some of their mica colors to create this fun retro-inspired soap. We'll be making soap embeds with different color soap and covering it with our clear glycerin soap. To make this recipe, you'll need Simply Earth's Glycerin Melt and Pour Soap. You'll need our Good Vibes Blend, Ocean Blue, Yellow Gold, Fuchsia, Tiger Orange, and Black Mica Colors. And you'll also need Simply Earth's Six Cavity Soap Molds. Let's get started. I'm gonna start by cutting up our Glycerin Soap Base. For this recipe, we're going to be using two thirds of this block of soap, so I'm gonna first cut it into thirds. I'm going to be using two of these for the recipe. I'm gonna save this one for future soap recipes. If I find out I have not quite enough soap to fill up my soap molds, I can cut off a little bit more and melt it to add to my creation. I'm gonna take one third of this soap now and cut up. This third I'm going to use a little bit later. I'm cutting the soap into one inch cubes so that it melts evenly. I'm gonna divide this cut up soap into five equal sections for each of my mica colors. Now I'm gonna take one of my portions of soap and melt it. Then I'm gonna color it with mica powder, add some essential oils, and then pour it into the mold. So to my melted soap, I'm going to add five drops of Good Vibes. And I'm gonna add a dash of yellow mica powder. I'm starting with my lightest color and going to the darkest so I can use this same soap container to melt each of my soap portions. I'll pour it into the mold and let it set and do the same thing with my next soap. It's not gonna totally fill the mold and that's okay because we're going to be cutting the soap to create our geometric embeds. I spritz it with rubbing alcohol to pop those little bubbles and keep them from forming on top. I'm gonna be doing the same thing with each of my mica colors. Before moving on to the next step, I'm gonna allow the soap to totally set. So my soap has set. My next step is to cut these soaps into my geometric embeds. I'm going to be doing that by cutting these soaps into fun shapes. You can also use cookie cutters to cut out shapes. I don't have any, but I've got this measuring cup and I'm gonna use it to cut, punch out a circle. I'm gonna do that with a yellow because that sounds like fun like so. I'll also cut out a triangle, some triangles in this soap, some lines. Cut some longer stripes out of this fuchsia block. A pink to add to my creations. I think I'll do another circle out of the black. So I've got all my soaps cut. My next step is to add them to my mold, however I'd like. So you can have fun with this. Add a zigzag, triangle, some of these little polka dots. Once your embeds are designed like you'd like, take your other third of glycerin soap, gonna cut this up, melt it, and pour it over top. All right, to my remaining soap base, I'm going to add 40 drops of Good Vibes. 
I'm gonna pour this soap over top of my embeds. I wanna make sure the soap isn't too hot that it melts this soap underneath. You'll want your soap to be under 135 degrees or you can tell by if there's a thin layer of soap forming on top of this, it's a good sign that it's ready to be poured. So now I'm gonna spritz the top of my embeds with isopropyl alcohol. 99% works best. You wanna make sure you do this, otherwise your two layers of soap, your embeds and this layer, will not combine. They will separate and fall apart. I'm gonna pour this close to the mold, close to the embeds, so hopefully they don't move around too much as I'm pouring. All right, we'll move this one up out of the way. Now before I remove the soap from the mold, I'm gonna allow it to totally set, which will take between 30 minutes to an hour. Let's remove our good vibe soaps from the mold. Your soap number one, soap number two, number three, number four, number five, and number six, to grab a cheat sheet for this recipe and get the ingredients you need, check out the description box below where I have included links. Subscribe to these videos to learn more about using essential oils and really fun recipes like this. This video is part of our Soap Week series, so check out our soap playlist for more amazing melt and pour soap recipes.